Um, presentation lifted by of the, the Kenya Rugby Union chairman trophy. and Marco Siki, is 20 plus KBL kilos. managing director Kenya, Text and also joining in the Text CS, the Ministry of Sports, Buana Babu, ladies and gentlemen, bronze. your winners of the 2023 Safari 7, Kenya, Shudia! It is Shuta, they are the Safari 7's champions once again, retaining the title. Joining in, ladies and gentlemen, is Baba. I think they've hidden their trophy behind that. Right, Honorable Raila oh, Mulo joining in the party. And, and joining <laughs> in is former Kenyan Prime Minister Raila Abolo Dinga. Alongside Sports Cabinet Secretary Ababu Namwamba and the Kenya Rugby Union Chairman Vincent Onyala. A moment of triumph for Shuja. A heroic display over the past two days. They are crowned winners once again of the Safari 7s on its return to the RFUA ground. And they had to fight for it in their path had the Uganda men 7s. They had Samurai. They had to navigate a tricky Germany side as well in the semi-final. But they were flawless and too good, too smart for the Samurai in this year's final. What the title difference and like we said earlier, what a run of form. Two tournaments, two wins for Kevin Wambua. He's surely getting the, his bling in gold managing the Kenya Sevens. So it is time for the customary photo sessions. Your take, um, Ernest, over the two days of the tournament, what have you seen? What would you like to see going forward? Of course, personally, this is my second Safari 7 tournament. My rugby career started here in 2019, and so I was very excited to be back. But most importantly is that rugby was back to the home. The Safari 7 was back to its home here at the RFE Air Grounds. Good rugby from all the teams that have taken part. Ten for the men, five for the women. The Kenya, but most importantly, so much, for me, CS my takeaway is the revelations from the little known players, the Cubs, the Tropic Sevens in the women's competition. The Morans, Floyd Wabwire, standing up strong and playing some good rugby. But then, of course, Hello. the status quo has not changed much. Shuja defending their title it is a wonderful against day. Samurai, who always bring color to day. this exciting festival. We want particularly to congratulate the Lionesses. The Lionesses. They have shown real skill. Almost textbook rugby. They have shown what can be done with the talent and good practice. We also want to congratulate Shuja. The Shuja, the Shuja have one or two things to learn from the Lionesses. We congratulate them. We also congratulate our brothers from South Africa and Ugandans. Now, Uganda is not a traditional rugby nation, but they are coming up. Congratulations. We also want our English friends. England is the land of rugby. But now. Well, that was an address from the former Prime Minister Raila Odinga just congratulating the teams that have participated here at the Safari 7s as we just see Tony Omondi and some of his Shuja teammates embracing each other taking in the victory taking a moment out with the fans for photos and after that we will be seeing the presentation for the women's champions at the 2023 Safari 7s Uganda. They defeated the Kenya Lionesses 
15 points to 12 in what was a very Check. entertaining you know, match. And gentlemen, like to you got to come here. For the Safari Sevens with the two debutants in short there. Medal Number winners, the women's is category. Kutesa. To finally make their way and forward. Just Uganda, the best you behind are. her is Unity Namulala. Unity Namulala, the, the star the among the two, Mamba, between the two. Mark Ositi she and played a couple of games and got her try in that semi-final against the Cubs. And of For course, sure, Uganda's right seven the season is very much people. alive. And what a way to keep it as exciting as possible back at home with assumption to the top step in the women's competition here at the Safari Sevens. There's Grace Nabagala joined the team this year. Standout player in the Central Region competition behind her. Is Sarah Chirabo also 